What's been up guys, it's Uxro and in this tutorial I will show you how to get mods working with T-Launcher. So if you don't know what T-Launcher is, it's basically a custom made launcher where you can add multiple accounts that can be free, premium or even Alibi. So I will explain this later. Um, it also got lots of different settings that you might need and it's pretty much better than others. So. If you don't have it right now, you can go to the description and click the link that will take you to um, my YouTube video where I show how to get this launcher. Or you can also check how to get online skins on Cracked Minecraft, so others can also see your skins. But I won't explain more about it, uh, so let's just start with this tutorial. So when you got this launcher, um, simply just open it and if you open it for first time it might take a little bit longer so if you're new you need to go here to this area and hit create and manage accounts so when you're in this area hit plus button and choose from the one that you like so free one is basically the minecraft cracked account which don't need a password and it can be anything you like so anything you really like um, you can also add premium, which is Minecraft account, and Alibi account, which is basically the online skins system. So when you choose the one that you want to, simply hit save account and go to home page. So if you got multi accounts, you can choose from them right here, so the one that you want. And after that, you will need mod. So I will go with too many items because it's really easy to find and it takes no time to install. So let's just go to too many items page and here we are. So when you download any of mods make sure that it's for Forge because we need Forge version. Um, this jar version won't work because that's basically um, files that you need to put inside version but I won't go into this, so let's just download the Forge version. So, yeah. Um, let's wait 5 seconds now. Oh, basically 9 seconds. So, if you're downloading mods from these pages, make sure that you don't click anything below here, because this is all advertisement and it has nothing to do with download. So make sure that you hit skip ad. So when you do that, the download will immediately start and what you want to do now is drag and drop the mod to your desktop. So that's it, you can close it. And what we need to do now is hit this folder, see this folder icon, and it will take you to the Minecraft um, folder where everything is saved. So if you want to use Forge, you will need to create a new folder and name it mods so as I did here mods go inside and drag and drop all your mods inside of this folder so before you add all mods make sure that all mods are working with version that you will use later because if you add 1.7 mod it probably won't work with 1.8 and the game will crash so be careful when you're adding mods so when you got mods added to folder go to launcher and on this list uh, you can see a lot of different versions so it got pre-installed Optifine, Forge and if you go to settings you can also enable alpha releases, snapshots, battles and other versions. Uh, you can also dedicate more RAM to it so simply by sliding this thingy uh, and make sure that you hit save. So when you got it, go to um, versions list and choose the one that fits your mod. So as I'm using too many items that only works with 1.8 currently, I'm not sure if it works with other versions, but I think it won't work. So look for Forge 1.8, it must say Forge in front of it, else it won't work. So let's just choose Forge and hit enter the game. So now if you first time running game, the launcher will start to download files and it might take some time, but as I already 
played 1.8, it was immediately. So here we are. Um, let me check if sound is disabled. Yes, it is. Um, and to make sure that all mods are working, go to mods, and you can see here too many items, and it's working. So now let's go to single player and simply just choose one of maps that you might have, or just create a new one. So here we are, and we just yep. Um, so basically, as you can see. Um, the too many items is basically working and you can do whatever you want. So see it's a real mode, uh, creative mode, spectator mode, mode, which is awesome because you can see everything under map, go through map and explore even more of Minecraft. But um, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. So before we end this tutorial, uh, I just want to say a few more things. Um, if you need any other tutorials on how to do something, um, you can just message me in the comment section below or to my social networks, I mean social sites, whatever, and if I have some free time, I will probably do it. And yeah, if you got any questions, problems, also you can ask me in the comment section and I will reply as soon as I can. Because I always reply to you guys and if you like this video leave a like maybe even subscribe if you like to so thanks for watching and stay awesome see ya